What's up guys, this is Alec the Lost Knight. Welcome back to Dark Souls, we're in New Game Plus 6. Trying to wrap up this run. We've already beaten Nito. We're gonna knock out Better Chaos. We still have four kings and, uh, Seath. And then we'll be done with this playthrough. Trying to make it through New Game Plus 7. It has been just a tremendous wild ride. Uh, I try to do themed let's like playthroughs each new game, but oh my god, new game plus six has not been kind to me. Uh, new game plus five wasn't kind either, to be honest. But this one especially, I tried to do. Um, I started doing a little bit of a of a bow run earlier, and I actually beat a few bosses with just a bow. That stopped at ONS. ONS uh, did not approve of my bow methods. And, uh, just didn't give a shit, to be honest. And so, here we are. Um. <laughs> we're gonna cheese the hell out of Better Chaos. I haven't been able to get it on the first try yet. Uh, I've... I don't... I'm, I'm probably gonna have to pull up the video again before I even do it, just to double-check my positioning. I want to get this fucking cheese the first try, because I'm sick and tired of getting killed on the run back to this dumbass fucking boss. Excuse my language, I'm sure I bleeped all of it, so it's fine. It's fine, who gives a shit? Alright. Let's get to the door of the bed of chaos. And, uh... And go from there. Sister! You must... You must die. You must die. Get out of here with that shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Allow me to pull up this fucking video again and make sure I get my damn fucking lineup with the fucking... Hold on. Let me get set up. I have to have a bow and I have to have firebombs. Alright, we're gonna do the right side first. Just in case. Because I'm worried I have not... I know the left I think pretty well. I'm not good on the right yet. So I think we're gonna try that first. Alright, here we go. First try. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. First effing try. Here we go. Let's... Fucking go! No touch! No touch! No touching! Right about there. And we're good. Let's go. First! Fucking try! Oh wait! Oh, uh, oh, Wrath of God! Bing! Done. Super easy boss is easy! Let's go! Easy clap! That was awful. Easy clap! That was- I squeaked. Alright, let's just never do that again. Let's just never talk about it again. Look at another level, what do you know? Uh, let's get some more and... Holy fucking shit, now I get to try for the next 20 minutes to get the fucking Duke skip. Let's do it. Let's knock out- <laughs> it's, I'm not gonna beat this tonight. It's already 7.30. No, it's almost 8 o'clock. Fuck. I have work tomorrow. Let's just, uh, let's just... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um... Yeah, who fucking cares? Who even, who even cares? Let's just go naked. Who gives a shit? I'm already tired, I can feel it. I'm getting sleepy. A lot of times when I record, I take a uh, five-hour energy because, um... It's less, uh sugar intake than if I were just to chug a bunch of energy drinks, plus it's, uh... I dare say less expensive than a bunch of energy drinks, necessarily. 
Uh, also, you can just do that, by the way. You just roll through that boar. He's, uh, he's an imaginary boar. No touch. No touch, boar. No touch. See ya. I actually watched a guide today on how to beat, on how to speed run and beat the game in under an hour. And the dude, and I'm not saying I could be this good because he got, he's pretty good. He beat it in like 38 minutes. And so I do think I could actually pull it off um, with practice because I've, I've run this game now for seven, seven, oh my God, seven consecutive playthroughs. It's very rare he snipes me in the chest. That's uh, that's a very rare death there. The problem is I have to run back past the boars again because I didn't get that fucking bonfire. But here we are. So anyway, um, where was I even going with all this? Does anyone know? I don't know. Um. Okay. Oh, so I think, I think once I finish this insane tirade, I want to go back and do a. Um, I want to do a bow run, so I think it would be fun. A bow fun run. Um, so I'm hopeful that... The problem is, is that my damage with the bow topped out. Probably new game plus two, maybe. Because I haven't really... I haven't, or heck, probably even new game, honestly. Because I topped out my dexterity about then, and it hasn't gone up much since, and the bow scales with dex. I've had the bow fully upgraded for a while now, anyway. Uh, but it's new game plus six, and everything has way more health. So even though the bow does pretty good damage, it's minimal compared to how much health the enemies have. Especially bosses. And so I think the bow would be way more viable. Um, hey, you guys gonna leave me? Thanks. On like new game plus or something. I actually would actually wouldn't mind starting new game as probably a hunter that starts with a bow and doing all bosses, uh, not all bosses, but most bosses. Because I refuse to do. I don't know. I might. I might would. Fuck you. Um. I wasn't blocking like I was supposed to be. Anyway, I think it'd be fun to do the bosses with a bow. There's bosses that I don't think I would do, such as Capra. Because fuck that. I cannot imagine doing Capra with only a bow. Because the dogs. The Capra itself, I mean, it's going to be bad, but the dogs would just... I don't know. I'd have to watch a guide on how to do that shit. But anyway, I'm thinking about doing a bow run once I get done with all this madness to New Game Plus 7. Um, I'm also thinking of... There's a way to be just over-the-top, ridiculously overpowered. And I think in, say, New Game Plus, pretty much all runs that I want to do would be in New Game Plus because not many of them you can start in New Game because you just don't have the items yet. So, like, for example, I've done a mage run where I tried to melt bosses using the uh, the shotgun, a.k.a., uh, what was it, Dark Bead or whatever? Because um, it's basically a shotgun and it does a stupid amount of damage if you if you boost correctly. Um, and now that I've figured out ways to become even stronger and become even more ridiculously powerful, I would love to see how many bosses I can literally just, like, two-shot. Because um, I, I did one-shot several of the beginning bosses on New Game Plus. So that would be fun. Um, I think that would be really fun, for sure. And I, I did it off uh, video, essentially. I did it without recording. Why well, I, I, I sort of recorded. I made a video of it, but it was all low quality, no commentary, because I did it uh, just by saving clips off my PS4 and not by actually recording it. And so I think it would be cool to do just a show. So we've got Bow Run. We've got Mage Run. Um, we've got the Under the Hour Speed Run. I've got a soul level one run, aka no leveling run, because I, I think soul level one is kind of misleading, because I don't think at any point, I don't think any single class starts soul level one. I think they all start, um, 
like solo level three or four just because that's that's you have you don't have all zeros you have like stats in every position um but you can do a starting class and do no leveling and i actually tried it i actually started a a, a run doing that and beat the first i don't know five bosses or so so it's definitely doable um i mean honestly especially because i can get exactly what i'm wearing essentially right now and you just you miss out on the scaling of the weapon but you can still upgrade the weapon and do plenty of damage especially it's all you really need in new game um for sure oh my god that was way off and i almost got it anyway bizarre I bumped off of the lever mechanism. Oh, I don't have a consistent fucking... I, I need the setup to be more consistent. I don't have a... I need to, like... No, like... Turn the camera towards looking at, like, a certain brick or something. Because my hands do pretty much the same thing every time. So I think. I think it's almost entirely the way the camera is turned as far as how I end up fucking this over. Like, this is it. This is the one. And, my, and then, as soon as I say that, I walk off and don't get the fucking roll. So, that was cool. You have to take, like, two steps and then roll. If you don't get the roll, you don't make it. But you have to make the steps or else you don't make it. So, um, lessons learned there. That should have been it, though. I didn't get quite over far enough to where I needed to set up at. Probably a little bit far. No, that was, was good. Fucking! You dumb! I have realized that being tired, I am much more vulgar and uh, upset over things. I'm not nearly as calm as I am, generally speaking. I'm also... Uh, like I said, I think the... I keep saying it's not this, but it probably is. I'm getting somewhat... Like, I love this game so much, and it's so much fun to play. But the difficulty of this high of new game is so fucking frustrating. Especially because... So my damage output is always good. Um, just because of the buffs and things, which it still takes more hits than it used to, obviously. But... My own dumbass, stubborn self that just refuses to level... Okay, game. Game, okay. Just refuses to level health. Vitality. Um, it's still 10. And so, while every other enemy in the whole fucking game has gotten more health and gotten stronger, uh, I have not as a fucking player. So that's a fucking thing. Um, to be sure. And it is so frustrating because any mistake, any bullshit RNG kills you. Uh, that's just all there is to it. It kills you. And so I want to do all of these fun challenges because I think they'd be fun and interesting. But they are... Nigh impossible on this high of a difficulty. And I do mean that. Like, I tried... Oh, for fuck's sake. I tried, uh, Bow ONS for easily 30 minutes. And there was just no chance. Um, and that's not to say that, oh, I need to get better at the ONS fight. Like, obviously, yes, I could always improve. I don't know every little... I don't know how to manipulate the AI necessarily. Like, I don't know all these, you know, some of the stuff that I've never... So, something that I've never done is something that I'm not good enough to do yet as a Souls player is a fist-only run. Because um, you have almost no damage output. And that's not something that I've ever done before. Because I play this game... With maximum DPS. I, I do... 
as much damage as fast as I can. And so, I tried to end boss fights as, bo boss fights as quickly as possible. At no point in playing this game have I made a boss fight stretch out for, you know, 20, 30 minutes. And that's something that you may have to do on a, on a fist-only run, you know? Because your damage just isn't there. And if you understand how you have to be perfect for like 20 minutes to survive that because you don't have the damage output. And the problem is, there's, is there are, I don't know, what, four or more bosses that essentially penalize you for taking time to beat them. Um, gargoyles. Example. Gargoyles. Uh, once you're the first gargoyle gets down to half health, the second one comes in. If you're doing no damage, basically, you then spend half the fight with two bosses attacking you at the same time. Ideally, you do enough damage that you kill the first one before the second one ever really enters the fight. That's like the ideal way to play. Um, four kings. It will spawn another king on you if you don't have enough damage going. Uh, I think they can spawn multiple kings, like, I don't know, more than two at a time, if you're going slow. I don't know that, I, I dare say you could have all four of them t attacking you at once. I don't know that, but I, I'm, it's bad. Um, you know, Nito has a bunch of minions in the, in the arena that you use, have to use a divine weapon or else they keep respawning. Uh... Let me think what other bosses have, like, timer mechanics. Um, those are the main ones I can think of at the moment. I'm trying to focus on this. That's it. I got it. Are you fucking kidding me with that? Are you kidding me with that? You bounce the fuck off instead of landing on the fucking railing. Holy shit. Didn't know I was made out of a rubber. Minus a rubber bowl. Just a little old rubber bowl. I have to go to bed. This is this is not okay. Uh, I'm not okay, and that's not okay, and nothing is okay in this world. And you know what? It's okay to not be okay. But yeah. So anyway, I needed to look into doing a a fist only run, just because it's something that I don't have the skill set for yet. It's something that you have to know the game in and out and understand all of the bosses in and out to the point that you know how to deal with them even if the fight lasts forever because for example like oh my god okay uh in this playthrough for example in this journey to new game plus seven because i've had to fight some of these bosses longer than normal or several more times obviously i mean like i said eight consecutive playthroughs um, I have seen moves from enemies and bosses that I have never seen before. That I yelled to the world as I died. Oh my god, I've never seen that attack before. I didn't know they did that. Because, like I said, if you play on New Game or New Game Plus and you have a build that is optimized, such as the ones that I build... You do a lot of damage quickly, and you don't see the full moveset of the boss. Some moves are actually rare, and they only get seen if you take enough time in the fight for it to occur. I mean, genuinely. Um, so that being said, there's a lot to learn about bosses if you have low damage, because you have to fight for so long to kill these bosses. That I've just never done, and it slightly terrifies me. Um, and like, for example, I had to relearn 
There's also a thing where I've never had to... Like, I like to play as a glass cannon. You know, 10 health. And then, like, max out my endurance and, er, and my dexterity and all that good stuff. Um, that's how I like to play. That being said, on New Game and even New Game Plus, you can still take hits with only 10 health. Um, it's not one health. It's, you know, like 10 vitality is still like 600 hit points or something. So you can still take a decent hit and survive. That being said, still having 10 hit points in New Game 6, New Game Plus 6, I mean, uh, I can't get hit. I cannot get hit and survive. And it has been a somewhat of a rough adjustment to learn. I'm, I missed it again. Um, in these situations that like I had to relearn. So, example, I haven't played the DLC in the past, I don't know, four attempts. Because on New Game Plus, I don't know, what was it, three or four? Um, I played through the DLC. And I had to relearn all of those boss fights. Because normally, I play it where... I take a hit and I heal. I had to play it where I could not take a hit because I didn't have the health for it. And learning those fights essentially hitless, or not necessarily hitless, but with like shields to block hits and things, because I always just rolled it before and just took the damage and, and healed. I was played aggressively. Playing defensively and dragging those fights out to be so long that you open yourself up to so many mistakes was, I mean, it was a great learning experience, and I, I truly am a better player for it, but holy shit, was that difficult, and honestly, at some points, not enjoyable, because it's not the way I like to play. You know, I found that, like, for example, I was like, oh, let me do, um, like, specific weapon runs, where, like, oh, I'll, I'll use, uh, the server, or, oh, I'll use the bone fist, and that, that kind of stuff, and I realized that, I can't handle playing this game with a slow swinging weapon. Uh, it just is not how I'm wired or or my muscle memory or what have you. Because you see an enemy and I'm like, attack! And you get a swing. Whereas you get one of those big slow weapons, you hit, a, you hit attack and like a second or two later your character swings. And it is wild how slow that is. I miss it again. I'm just that fucking close. And I'm not getting the damn roll off is what's happening. I'm not getting the fucking roll that I need to get over that, that lip. I'm trying to get my fucking consistency down here. Oh, fuck. Alright, this is the one. Here we go. As I totally fucking missed the damn ledge. I actually rolled early on that one? I don't know. Something. Oh, the fucking timing. I didn't have the, anything in the right spot. I despise things where it's almost impossible to keep consistent. So, like, for example, um, the... What I like about the cheese for better chaos is that you run to, like, you run to this exact spot... You back up twice, and then you know exactly where to hit. I don't have... I need to pick a plane of reference of... You know, I, I come back here. I do this, and I look at... Put my player's head right there. Let's, let's try this. Alright. Step, roll, step, roll. Missed it. So that wasn't what I was supposed to do. I have to find a way to position myself to where I get this every try, because if I were doing a speed run that involved going to all of the main bosses, and some of them obviously do, um, I would have failed miserably. So, here we are. Alright, let's try this. This looks right. Oh, I missed. It's 
it's all about not letting the elevator get too far down. But you have to get out far enough to where you can roll and land on the, the fucking railing. I was doing better before. I was hitting it consistently and I couldn't get the drop. Now I can't fucking hit that because I'm trying to find consistent strats. And it sucks! Here we go. Cheese and rice, dude. That's not it. <gasps> ah! Dumb fuck. Alright, I'm done for tonight. Fuck it. Hmm.